We're done talking. We're done. All that other stuff. Let's pop it everywhere, clearly. Now I know what uh, they feel like. What's going on, everyone? Josh here, half ass beer review, and tonight we got another beer. This is a new beer. Well, I've had the base and I've had a few variants, but this one I'm pretty freaking excited about. This is Peanut Butter Marshmallow Speak of the Devil Imperial Pastry Stout with Peanut Butter and Marshmallow 12% ABV, 12%. ABV brewed and canned by Streetside Brewing Company, Cincinnati, Ohio. Now, the S Snowball Speak of the Devil was always kind of the uh, girl from The Witch with Black Phillip kind of over her shoulder. Now, this is in the same vein, yet it is Ripley with Alien from Alien over her shoulder. And I got to tell you, she got the flamethrower in her hand, she's got blood everywhere. It's pretty cool. The S is backwards. Streetside Brewery is backwards. And let me tell you something. There is a beer tail on this can, and it is inverted. Yes. Uh, let's let's read that right now. Only part of it, actually, is inverted. Oh, my gosh. Avert your eyes. The darkest, most deserty being from the pastry reel has arrived. Peanut butter, marshmallow, speak of the devil is here, and it's ready to kick you in the ass ass delicious peanut butter rich marshmallow the pastry stout base you know and love we still hear you is right side up but backwards that you got to read in the mirror again 12 percent abv i had to tell you i'm hoping this is very motor oily i got the tulip glass out for it i want that peanut butter i want that marshmallow i want some dark chocolate i want that little bit of bite from the stout that's what I want. That's what I want out of this. Again, uh, we're done talking. We're done. All that other stuff. Let's pop it everywhere, clearly. Now I know what uh, they feel like. And we are going to pour it, look at it, smell it, taste it, and see what we got going on. I didn't expect it to pop out like that. But then again, when, when do you ever? Uh, it's hard to control the nut, right? That's what we say on half ass Beer Review. Now look at this beautiful, dark, delicious beer. It is black. It is, oh, you can't even see through it. You look, try to look through the light, and it is not there. You get a little bit of reflection from the light behind me. But this is the darkest of beers. This is Black 33 or whatever, it, whatever it's called. Nice head. It's dissolving now. I love the color of this head. It's got that nice brown, chocolatey head on it. All right, so this thing is big. The ABV is present in the nose, but also what is there is a delicious stout. All right, we get a little bit of that stout in there. We get some of that marshmallow, like a creaminess from the marshmallow. And most importantly, that peanut butter with a little bit of dark chocolate. That's what I'm getting out of this. It's exciting. I love it. I love it, love it, love it, as Michael Scott would say. Oh. This has got Fluffernutter written all over it. It really does. It really does. The head has died down now. It's just like a black glass of liquid. Not as motor oil as you'd think. It's rather thin looking. I wonder what the mouthfeel is going to be on this. I wonder how it's going to coat the mouth. There's a lot of things I want to know. But there is only one way to know what's going on with this thing, and that is to drink it. And as always, on half ass Beer Review, we do a little drink, big drink. Cheers, every. <laughs> all right okay 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 it's very smooth 
like silky smooth, right? Coats your tongue. A very nice stout feel to it. The peanut butter and marshmallow are accents to this beer. Like very nice accents to this beer. You're drinking it. You're getting a lot of that imperial pastry stout. But then you're getting like this touch of peanut butter. This creamy marshmallow on your tongue as you're drinking it. It's paying homage to the base. It is basically the base with just like a little extra. And that's what you, that's I think what they're, every beer is going for when they do like a variant of it. They'll say, hey, this is an awesome base. We're just giving you a slightly different appeal to it. And that's exactly what's going on here. The, the peanut butter and the marshmallow aren't kicking you in the tongue like I thought they were going to. This is still speak of the devil but you're getting a little bit of peanut butter and marshmallow that make it that much more delicious with it. Yes, definitely. Let's take another drink. And look at, all right, there is a film on the glass after you drink. This is going to have to go through the dishwasher three times, and then I'm going to have to hand wash it because I don't like to drink beer out of a glass after it's been in the dishwasher, if that makes sense. Does that make sense to you? I can't drink beer from a glass that's been out of the dishwasher, at least in my own house. I realize if I go to a brewery or a restaurant, that's not always going to be the case. And I'm okay with being oblivious to that fact. I can manage it. I can manage the anxiety there. But when I'm at home, I have to hand wash it. And then I air dry it by vigorously waving the glass around. I have friends that can attest to my insanity about that. Let me take another drink. This is insane. There's like a nice dark roasty kind of feel to this beer, to the base of it. And that peanut butter and that marshmallow really kick in. It is, it's not super motor oily, like it's not thick, but it's like a thin oil. It still coats your tongue. It leaves that flavor sitting there in your mouth. The mouth feel is just great. It, the, and the 12% ABV, you can tell it's there, but it's not too much. Like, you can keep it in your mouth without being, like, getting the, the body shivers with some of these beers that are high ABV. This one is really honed in. It's, it's really good. I am digging this one. Another drink. It's like staining the glass. That's awesome. Question of the night. Josh... Would you ever buy this beer again? And I got to tell you, yes, yes, I would. In fact, I did. I th These came in two packs. I don't know how much the two pack was. Again, I bought this one at Dorothy Lane while I was in Ohio. You're in Ohio. You see something that's speak of the devil and uh, you, you, you buy it. Yeah, you buy it. Yes, I would buy this one again. The only thing that bums me out, it wasn't a four pack that I bought. But then again, if it was a four pack that I bought, I would have gave one to Tone and I would have gave one to Draston and I only would have been left with a two pack, so to speak. Uh, so I wish I had four of these. I really wish I had three more of these after I was done with this one, but I only have one and I'm gonna have to live with that mistake for the rest of my life. I will take it to my grave. But that's okay, because I, there's other delicious beers that are going to come along, other Speak of the Devils that are going to come along. I just think this one was awesome. If you have the chance to get the, the Speak of the Devil with the peanut butter marshmallow, I highly recommend it, not only for the cool can art, but for the cool, delicious beer that's in this can. Now, that's going to do it for this episode of Half-Ass Beer Review. Thank you all for stopping by and checking out another amazingly delicious beer from Street Side Brewing Company with me. Speak of the Devil, Peanut Butter, Marshmallow, Ripley, Alien. It's firing on all cylinders. The can art's cool. The beer's cool. The beer tastes delicious. I want a lot of it all the time. It's a really great dessert beer. It's a really great beer to end your night. Say it's your last beer and you want something you can enjoy. I, I Actually, you know what? Scratch that. It could be the good first beer, the good middle beer, and the good beer to end out the night. I, that's just what I'm going to say because this is this is that good. If you're new here and you liked what you saw, please, by all means, hit that subscribe button. Give this video a thumbs up. Leave me a comment. Tell me what you like drinking. Do you have a favorite pastry stout? Do you like barrel-aged stouts? What is your favorite beer? Let's start that conversation about beer, and we can do that down in the comments. Before you go, check out my friends Banter and Babble every Wednesday night, 9 o'clock, 
on Twitch for the best pop culture wrap-up around and my friend Drass and the Dungeon Master on Seven Dungeons for literally the best Dungeons and Dragons anywhere. And always remember to keep your fridges full and have a great night.